What's up traders? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Forex analysis for this week, guys. So October 18th is what we are today. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I think is going to happen in the market. Could be wrong, could be right, who knows, but I'm going to give you guys my opinion. If you guys like this type of content and want more of it, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Let's get into the analysis. All right, guys, so the first chart I want to look at for Forex here is we're looking at the US Canadian dollar. This is one of my favorite pairs to trade. As we can see, guys, we had a very strong uptrend going up right now, but it looks like it may have become a downtrend very soon. As we can see, we had a trend line here that got touched once, twice, three, four times around this area and eventually was broken right here, guys. And now we are making lower highs. So right here, another lower high here and right now it just touched the back of this trend line which means that it retests the trend line so what we could see happen here guys is we could see either one or two things and i want you guys to pay attention to it so i'm just gonna bring up this little word path icon so we can see it come up here and then quickly start coming down and start creating a downtrend right that's one thing that we can see happening or we can see that this small term short trend right here this little channel that we see just like this is a fake out and we can see potentially that the might price might break this area and continue on the upwards trend that we, we we saw earlier right so we want to make sure guys we want to wait for confirmation to see exactly what happens do we see a sell signal right here and make it so the price starts going down maybe we can take that sell signal or is this going to break up above this uh resistance level that we see right here so as you can see right here this area this is a very strong resistance level if it breaks above this area right here then we are still in the buy and we can probably look to re-enter a trade once we get a buy signal around this area right here guys so this is my analysis for us cad let's look at a different chart next one i want to take a look at, guys is this one right here usd swiss franc as we can see just like the last pair i showed you guys we have a very strong uptrend and this one seems like it might continue the uptrend because right now it's rejecting this trend line that we have set up on our chart. So what we see here happen is very simple. We can see the price go up from here, maybe till around here, and then maybe start to come back down and then create another higher high around this area. This is what I'm actually expecting to happen for this. So if you guys are using Elite Algo, make sure you guys are looking for a smart buy signal to pop up around this area. And we can see that there's a very, very high likely chance that's going to continue this uptrend right now. But just be aware, guys, we have a decently strong resistance right here, guys, because I failed to break this level twice now. So it's just something to stay and keep aware of when you're trading this pair. All right, guys, so the next pair I want to talk about, I'll show you guys. This one looks pretty promising for a short. We are looking at AUD USD. And as we can see, guys, we are major, major downtrend. This is making lower lows and lower highs. Very simple. And right now we can see a little bit of a rejection off this trend line that we just had placed up there and a rejection off this trend cloud that we see. So this actually will be a very good trade if we see a smart sell signal pop up very soon. And we also see right here on the oscillator down below, it's showing us a bearish divergence, which basically means that it's expecting the price to go down as well. So if you guys see a smart sell right now on this trade, you guys can go ahead and take that. I think it's a very, very high likelihood chance that this will be a very good trade to take. All right, guys, so the next pair I want to focus on is NZD USD. And as we can see, guys, we were in a very strong downwards trend, right? But we had this support failed to break multiple times, once, twice, three, four, five times. And now it's starting to become a ranging market. We can see this with this box that I just drew. So if you guys want to trade this pair, I recommend that you wait until this bro this box is broken, either to the upside, then you see a retest before taking a long position, or wait until it's broken to the downside, so it breaks this box, comes back up, retest this resistance as a, sorry, the support as a resistance before taking the trade to the downside. So just something to keep aware of, because again, we do not want to trade in ranging markets. That's how you have a low percent win rate. Instead, we want to make sure that we're always trading with a trend, and that's how we have a very high win rate. All right, guys, so the next one we want to look at is British pound US dollar. Obviously, what we can see here is we see we have major resistance up here in this area, and then we have a support that's building with higher lows with this trend line, right? 
So what we want to do here is we want to wait for this trend line to be broken if we want to look for short positions, or we want to wait for this resistance to be broken before we want to look for buy positions, right? So what we might see happen here is we might see the, the price of British pound US dollar to go up, break above, above this resistance, come back down to retest it, and this is where we can enter a long position, or we might see a trend line break right here, and then we can probably enter a short position once we have a smart sell signal right here. Very, very simple, guys. This is my analysis for British pound, US dollar. And now the last one that we wanna look at, guys, Euro USD, we can see that it is in a very strong downtrend as we see right here, and we have a very strong resistance right now where the price seems to be reacting off this resistance. So if we have a smart sell signal right here, this is something that we can potentially take. Just make sure, guys, that when you're setting your stop loss, make sure your stop loss is behind this level right here behind this trend line right because this trend line has been touched many times right once twice three times and then we might be able to see the price come up break this as a false breakout before coming touch this trend line and coming coming back down so just be aware of that so make sure your stop loss is a little bit higher for this one but we can see if we get a smart signal smart sell around this area that we will have a very good trade to the downside that's pretty much it for my analysis, guys. If you guys like this type of videos, you got, want me to make this every single week for you guys, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions. Peace out.